Today's Tips to Jour mailbag question comes to us from Brazil. Robert, have you ever used potassium carbonate to calibrate hygrometers? Eduardo in Brazil. Eduardo, yes, I've used a lot of different things to calibrate hygrometers over the years. In fact, I have a video out there that shows how to use a, a sling psychrometer. And also, I think in the same video, I show how to use a salt solution. Now, the problem with the salt solution is the equilibrium is somewhere around 75%. Now, we don't use uh, our hygrometers in that range. We use our hygrometers in the range of somewhere around 40 to 50%. So potassium carbonate is great for that because the equilibrium for that is 43%. So let's go over to the bench. I'll show you how I do it. So Eduardo, the first thing you're going to need is some potassium carbonate. I think I just ordered this online, shipped it right to my front door. Uh, I think you can also get it at health food stores and places like that. And of course you need hygrometers. I like to use a airtight container. You could even use a Ziploc bag like this. I like to use these Tupperware containers that close up. And I've just got a little dish here. I've put a little bit of the potassium carbonate at the bottom covered with water like that, place that inside your container, place your hygrometers in there, and then close it up. I like to use a transparent container, that way you can come in and read the hygrometers without having to open it. I like to leave it at around 24 hours in the container, overnight's probably good enough, at which point everything should have stabilized, and then you can come back and mark on your hygrometers or calibrate them. But if you want to mark on there, plus or minus whatever your percentage points are off. It doesn't get much easier than that. But very important to have your hygrometers calibrated. So Eduardo in Brazil, thank you very much for your question. And congratulations for recognizing that you need to control relative humidity as you build. When I was living and working in Brazil, I was trying to get my humidity as low as possible. I had a dehumidifier going in my shop all the time. And the lowest I could get it was 50%. But... That was much better than building without controlling the relative humidity. So kudos for that and happy building.